Okay, so I want to talk through real quick the way that I approach doing the section view. Um, and I want to do this as a video so that it's something you can reference later in case you haven't gotten to that part yet. Um, so here we are. Um, this is my ground plan view of my project. Um, what would be happening at this point in life, in your life, is there would be a piece of paper on your drafting table with your ground plan on it. And then there would be a second piece of paper down below it where you're going to draft your section view. So you got your little title blocky blocks. It's gonna be so great. All right, so now I'm gonna take my triangle and my T-square, um, and if this doesn't work out perfectly, that's okay. You can use the long side of your triangle if your short side isn't tall enough. But in an ideal situation, you have a T-square that's locked in as your horizontal line, and then you use a triangle to pull down those line marks, okay? And the first thing I would do is give myself a, a place for the ground to sit. So I would just draw using the edge of the page as a guide or a T-square as a guide. I would just draw the ground in first, making sure I leave enough space for the old title block. So draw the ground in first and then start pulling down these lines. Um, so I'm gonna grab this first line for you. And because this is going all the way to the ceiling, I'm gonna leave it pretty tall, right? Um, the ceiling height we determined was 17 feet for this space. Um, so after I have that first line, I can measure, I'm not measuring shit right now, but you'll measure because you're drafting this for real and I'm just pretending. Um, I can measure where that 17 feet would be and even put in a light marker line for that, right? So that as I transfer lines, which do consist of walls that go floor to ceiling, I can go ahead and stop them at the appropriate spot, right? And you can do better drafting than this even. So I would push in and then slide right down and stop at the floor. And I'll do the same thing over here for my outside theater wall at the back of the house. So start here at the top, draw that right down to the floor. Same thing again on the other side of that wall. So once I've transferred all of my walls, I'm going to start by dropping in my house scenery, right? So the things that are that are not scenery, but actually the risers for the audience. So those I'm gonna do in the same way, but I know that they're gonna be much shorter, right? Because they're not going all the way to the ceiling. The first one's only gonna be about eight inches from the floor. So I can give myself a nice short line. Um, and then I can come in and give myself some lines to use as guides for the rest of those risers. Um, and then I would just measure up on each riser to the appropriate height based on um, the information that we have, which was that each step would be eight inches. So I would just measure up to each of those steps, the eight inches that I need so that I end up looking something like this, right? I'm gonna flip over and show you the, just make the, the Vectorworks image itself visible, right? So that gives me this whole seating area drawn into my section view, okay? So you would just come in then and measure in order to get the heights of each of these things, right? Um, and then you would erase out any lines you don't need so that it looks like it does in the example um, on the section viewport um, assignment sheet, okay? Then you're gonna do the same thing with the platform unit. So we know that this is eight inches, this is 16 inches, and this is 24 inches above the ground. Um, you're not gonna see these stairs, so don't worry about it because the slicing line is this center line, this dashed center line um, in my drawing, okay? So I come in and Let's create those locations, right? So the first thing I'm gonna grab, again using my triangle, is the location of this curtain, which is 14 feet tall. So that goes there, and this would be on a, um, on a like true section view, you would write curtain. Um, 
above that point so that it's clear that that's what that is, um, or you could label it from the, from the bottom. Um, and then we're going to pull the back of this riser unit. This triangle is shit, you guys. It's not cute at all. We're going to pull the front edge of that flat and then the front edge of each element step, okay? So boom, boom, boom. These steps are the same height as in the house, so I can line all of that up together when I'm when I'm drawing it. We're gonna pretend I did this right. Do, 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 do. This goes all the way to the back. Then I'll have my door in the wall situation. So I'll take this wall line and I'll bring it up all the way as high as I need it to be, um, which in this case is 10 feet from the floor. So I would come in, let me try and get this a little bit happier. Um, and I would bring this, carry this wall line up all the way this, as far as I would need it. So do, 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 up to 10 feet or so, and then draw in the back of that wall. the opening for the door at six foot eight. And then I come back through all of this later and I do my diagonal lines to indicate sectioning, okay? And those diagonal lines will carry on the top of the wall. Right, and then not in the door opening, but on the bottom as well, you would carry your diagonal lines. So in the door opening, we're actually looking at the inside of that door um, and then on all of these lines, you are going to get your lovely diagonal hash marks to indicate that it's a solid. Um, so that is the section view. Boom. For our theater drafting project. Thanks. Let me know if you have any questions.